What is up guys, all about the Galaxy Beam with some pretty girls right here. Today I show you how you can turn off the screen while watching movies or playing games on the projector. This was possible in gingerbread but uh, not anymore in jelly bean. Like that you save a lot of battery because a turned on screen uses most of your battery life. So um, I tried many methods but this one finally worked so see you soon. Welcome back. The problem with many screen apps is that the both the display screen and the projector screen go dark when you try them out. And uh, that's not what I or that's not what we want. Um, so let me show you the solution. You have to download an app called Screen Standby Light. This one here. It's uh, free on the Android market and um, I will put a link into the video description below. Uh, it um, might work for uh, non-rooted phones but I'm not sure so I will come to that in a second. So once you downloaded that you tap on it or you open it then you will have the welcome screen you just click on dismiss and um, one thing, if you don't follow my advice, your phone will likely crash. So uh, do what I tell you, okay? Uh, at the screen off, so now we go to the settings here. We tap here. At the screen off methods, you leave it as it is here. And as I mentioned before, non-rooted users, um, if you don't have root, you could try and tick this box. And at the effectiveness, you change it to zero because you want this that the screen goes totally off. I'm not going to do it because I have root but uh, you, if you don't have root just try it. It might work. So um, at the one to dim mode this has to be disabled like it is uh, when you download the app. Okay don't enable this one. In extras here you don't change anything. In extras extra settings uh, the use this one has to be turned off and the handle outer brightness is ticked off as well so basically everything is uh, turned off here you can also turn off the ads banner so do it as you have it on my screen now um, after that you click on manual brightness control it will say loading. Um, if you have automatic brightness here, untick that. So let me read further. Um, now what you have to do is you have to basically create a shortcut and uh, to do that you have to have one thumb here of uh, create home, uh, home screen shortcut for this brightness level. Just don't, uh, don't press it, just stay over it. And with the other thumb you go here until it goes to the very end okay now the screen is off and now press once okay because like that you created the shortcut now you have to let me check now you have to press the power button this one here and the home button so now you're back to the display then you press on the home button and you see we created a shortcut with zero brightness here um, if you now press on it it will tell you it will give you an error message application not installed and for that reason we have to restart the phone so that's what I'm going to do now I just restart the phone and I will be back in a second. Welcome back. So let me enable the screen. Now um, you see the brightness icon is still here so what I'm going to do, I don't like it in the main screen so I will just put it to the side here so it doesn't bother me. Okay here next step is you go to settings and you scroll down to develop options at the very bottom 
and you go to show touches. You will now see a white circle uh, wherever you click on the screen. You see? Once uh, the display screen is black, which I'm com I will come to that very soon, um, you will only see that circle on the projected screen. So here, not on the um, main screen here. Um, now we're going to turn on the projector. Is that a focus? Yes. And uh, we're going to open the folder with the uh, movie or a game um, or a document or operating system or whatever you want to use, uh, play or project on the phone. So um, the reason why uh, we're going to open the folder and the game or whatever right away is I'm going to show you now why. So let's press on the home button. Um, because the reason is I want to load it directly into the task manager. So let me show you an example. Yes, yes, yes. So um, my files, all files. Let me just go into videos. Okay. So I am going to press the home screen again. I loaded it now into the task manager. As you can see here, it's in the task manager. Um, and I am back to the to the home screen and now I'm going to press on zero brightness the shortcut icon that we created so I'm going to press it and you can see the screen totally turned off but uh, the good thing is that um, we don't see it here but when you flip it the projector is still on and when we touch it you can see the that's our touches so that's what I mentioned before. Now, um, the point of loading the task manager is that, for example, if you want to uh, open, let's say, uh, my files again or whatever, and you did not load it to the task manager, it can be a bit tricky to find it because sometimes uh, you accidentally um, press it too much and uh, you would move it. So that's why I loaded it already into the task manager. And like this, I can navigate easier with the touches. So, because uh, the way I use it is I just press on it and I go around, right? Um, for me this is easier. Um, so, let's say I want to play the movie, so I just go to the movie and then I tap on it and then I just go there and I play it. Okay? So, uh, okay, let's quickly do that. Let's say the BS player or the video player or whatever. You need a little bit of practice, but you will understand that it works. And as you can see, the screen is totally off. But you can see still the touch input. Okay. Now, let me turn this off. Go out from here. And um, if you want to, if you want that the screen turns back on, give me a second. Uh, so once you finished uh, what you wanted to do or uh, yeah, as I said you want the screen to go back on then all you need to do is you press the power button so let's do that now we press the power button and screen turns off uh, the projector turns off and the home button okay and uh, like that uh, you will be back to normal you see and uh, it worked fine um, now you can just if you want after you know you finish the movie or whatever the game you just do that and uh, if you want to disable the touches you just go back to the developer options those touches and uh, you just tick the box again and the touches are gone all right i hope it was not too complicated and uh, that's it finally the problem is solved and uh, i can save a lot of battery life again and uh, well, thanks for watching guys and uh, follow me on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter for my latest Beam project. Speak to you soon. I hope I helped you. And this is screwed. But anyway, 